Hello, hello, my name is Sophia and this is the walkthrough to OSINT exercise 008. On my website you can find a number of OSINT exercises to practice your skills. If you have not attempted to solve this one yet, you can find the link in the description and give it a go first. If you're here because you have completed, well done, you should be very proud. If you're here because you want to find out how to solve it, I hope you find this video useful. So welcome to OSINT exercise 008 task briefing. The large photo below was taken from a page of the Epoch Times, a Chinese newspaper. Please answer the following questions. A. What was the audience applauding? B. When was the photo taken? And C. What is the name of the venue? You can click here to open the photo on a new tab so you can see it a bit better. I've marked this exercise level as easy for beginners, the first one, and maybe medium for the other two. For experts, I would say all of them are easy. This photo of a Chinese newspaper does not require a warning due to copyright since I took it myself. And if you're wondering why I had a copy of a Chinese newspaper, I will never tell. Great start. Okay, let's answer the questions then. First thing we need to do is to analyze the image to see if we can find anything useful to our little investigation. You can see a website right there, right at the top. And this part is in English, so we can check out this website and see where it leads us. So let's try to put this website here. So we have www.g1. I have no idea how to pronounce this, so hopefully it all makes sense. And if you click it, it is a Chinese newspaper, as you'd expect. And at the top, it has been redirected to epochtimes.com, like I said here. So as you can see, that was not a trick. I would never trick you. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the, the image. We have a very large audience in a big venue. The people in the front at first glance seem Caucasian. So we might be looking at a big city in Europe, North America, perhaps Australia. Whatever people were watching was likely being held in a large building, probably within a large city. That means that when we find a possible location, we might be able to compare it with our newspaper photo. A place this big will certainly have plenty of photos online. On the right side of the image here on this section, there's a long column with text and a smaller photo featured. The section seems to be separate from the larger photo, so it may or not be related to the main story. There's a few English names, you can see one there, another one there, and so on. But as we are not sure that this story has anything to do with the photo, let's just leave it for now. At the top of this photo that I took of the newspaper, there is a date. So you can see the date here. It says the 12th January 2023. We know that the 12th is the day and not the month because I'm releasing the video in February 2023 and I do not have access to a time machine yet. Now that we have analyzed the image, we need to see what the text says. I do not read Chinese and I'm going to assume that most people listening to me now also do not read Chinese, but that's not a problem. Over 95% of the content I investigate online is in languages I do not understand and that never stopped me and shouldn't stop you either. So how do you translate text from an image? you google it. If you have read my, here we go, my frequently asked questions page, you'll know that I do almost anything with Google. This exercise is not an exception. Why make it more complicated when you can just keep it simple? So let's just do that. So right click, reverse image search and just go with Google. That's it, nothing else. Google will already give you some results on the right with visual matches. I can tell you already that none of them will be useful here. You can even try to select only the section of the photo that has the venue. So this bit here. And yet Google is not going to give you any useful results. I made sure of this. We don't want this to be too easy, do we? So if we're not here for the image results, what are we doing on Google Image? We're going to use Google Lens to translate the text for us. So let's increase again the border so it has all the page and we click it down there where it says translate. 
So it'll just detect that it was written in Chinese from Taiwan and I want it to English. So this is the full translation of the text. Let's read the information and see if we can answer any of the questions already. It says here, Shen Yun benefits the whole world and the performances. In seven cities in the United States and Europe are all sold out. Brilliant. So it's very likely that the audience was clapping to Shen Yun's performance, which was the first question. Now, there's a lot of text on the side and information about Shen Yun's performance. He mentions Germany a lot. So we have here Germany, Berlin, Germany, and so on. And I can already spoil it for you and let you know that this photo is not from Berlin. It was not even in Europe. <laughs> the reason I left the text on the side was to showcase that sometimes the data you are given is useless. You're welcome. <laughs> sometimes you have to sift through irrelevant information to get what you're looking for. Sometimes you sift through irrelevant information and get absolutely nothing. This section is completely irrelevant. If you got stuck looking through locations in Berlin, I am sorry. <laughs> but let's go back to this section, which is the important one. The second question was, when was the photo taken? We know that the photo would have been taken before January 12, 2023, because that's when this newspaper was published. But it probably wouldn't be too much earlier than the date, as the event described in the title seems recent. I would guess at most a week beforehand, so let's temporarily place this event between the 5th and the 12th January, and we can figure out the date in a second. We know that this was published on the Epoch Times physical copy, as you can see my photo of it. I even crumpled a newspaper page in the hopes that Google Lens would struggle. It didn't. Well done, Google. <laughs> We also know that they have a website up here that we have checked already. It is extremely likely that this article would have been featured on the Epoch Times website. There's an easier way to find it. And for that, we're going to use Google Lens option of text. So now all these characters in an image can be selected and can be copied, which is amazing. So let's copy the title and the subheader. So let's copy all of it. And then immediately Google changes the results on the right. Now it's showing search results of the headline and the subheader that we have selected. And look at the dates. Look at that. 8 January 2023, these two articles, right on the mark with our range. So let's just go with the first one and see where that leads us. And look at that, as expected, epochtimes.com. And we're seeing here Shen Yun, which we know was the performance that the people were applauding. So we're clearly on the right track here. Since now I'm on a page that has a language I do not understand, I will use my very handy Google Translate add-on. So I just click translate this page for me, please, Google. And look at that, 21st century technology. So now everything is in English and I can read it, which is brilliant. However, I don't know if you've noticed something, but if you keep scrolling, you keep scrolling, you keep scrolling, the photo that was on the newspaper that I have taken a photo and put on my exercise 008 was not present. <laughs> it was not one of them. Does that mean we're lost? Is this the wrong place? No. It's still the correct place. In fact, you can actually see the photo of these people. Look at these people. So they were helpful after all, weren't they? But this is still not our location. We're looking for our location and we're looking for the date of the event. So now that we have translated this to English, let's just try to read it what it says. It says here on January 7, 2023, the world-renowned Shen Yun Performing Arts once again demonstrating strength Simultaneously staged in seven cities in the United States and Europe, Shen Yun Performing Arts once again created the miracle, blah, 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 blah. Okay, it doesn't matter anymore. Okay, what does it say here that's useful to us? It says that on January 7, 2023, they performed simultaneously in seven cities, United States and Europe. That means that the photo that we have for exercise 008 would have been taken on January 7, 2023, because all of the performances were exactly on the same date. So we have answered question number two, which was, when was the photo taken? The photo was taken on January 7, 
2023. But we still need to find the exact location of that photo. As I have said, the photo featured on the physical copy of the newspaper is not on this article, but we still have a list of locations. It just told us that it was seven cities, United States and Europe. You can skip scrolling, it'll tell you the cities, say San Francisco, Atlanta, Norfolk, Austin, Dallas, Berlin and Birmingham. Already know it's not Berlin because I already spoiled that for you. It's not Berlin. It's not also in Europe. I already said that as well. So it's not Birmingham. So we're looking for one of the North American cities. And since our list is so small, we can just go one by one. It's no big deal. So we can start from the first one. It says here, this person watched it and they watched it at Norfolk, Virginia. Norfolk, Virginia is probably a big city, so it might have a lot of venues. There was any other mentions of Norfolk, Virginia to see if they specified the location. So it says there Norfolk, Victoria. At this point, I think they're a bit confused <laughs> because it says Victoria and it says Virginia. But let's just keep going. What else does it say? Oh, look at that. Chrysler Hall. Okay, we have a name. Let's see if this Chrysler Hall is in Norfolk, Victoria, which I don't think exists, or Norfolk, Virginia, which makes a lot more sense. So let's go Google Maps, Chrysler Hall, Virginia. Yes, that's, that's probably that one, isn't it? So let's go with it. And as expected, this will be a big venue. And since it's a big venue, it has loads of photos. But what I'm most interested in is Street View 360 degree panoramic image. So let's look at it and bam, <laughs> we just found our place. That wasn't very hard, was it? I will put the picture side by side so you can compare it. And here we go, we can see all of it, look at that. So we have all these exits here on the side, all of it here. You can see the shape and the pattern of the wall here as well, it has this little light section. I have no idea what this is. We just saw present here and here. You have all these places where people sit, first floor, second floor, I don't know what they're called. And you can even see the patterns in the ceiling with the lights. I mean, this is an absolutely perfect match and it answers our third question. So now we can go back for the third one. What is the name of the venue? The name of the venue would be the Chrysler Hall in Norfolk, Virginia. So a quick summary again, what was the audience applauding? They were applauding Shen Yun's performance. When was the photo taken? It was taken on January 7, 2023. And the name of the venue, as I've literally just said, is Chrysler Hall, Norfolk, Virginia, United States of America. And that is it. That is how you could have answered all three questions in a very straightforward way. I hope you find the video useful or at least entertaining. Stay tuned for the next OSINT exercise 009. Please leave a comment. I like them. Thank you for listening.